Welcome to the second Piano Harmony MIDI Studio Pro tutorial. We're going to go over the Options tab of the app. We've already gone over how to make your chords using key signature, bass, and melody. We're going to, um, we did a little bit of the basic chords, we're going to go into more advanced stuff that you can do with the chords in the next tutorial. Right now we're just going to go into the Options. So on the bottom right, the fifth tab is Options, you can go ahead and click that. After you click that, you're going to see five icons, storefront, instrument, set chord group, load chord sequence, and the course reference volumes. Now, um, if you've been looking through your, your chords and you haven't seen you know, something that really shines in the way that you want, or there's a certain style or something that you're missing, that's where you go into the storefront. You can buy uh, more uh, chord add-ons. The app by itself already comes with thousands of chords, but you can add additional chords. We've got a bunch of different options when you go into the um, into the storefront. So you just click on storefront, and you choose one that you like, and you'll hit buy. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Now um, my credit card that Google Play has on file is expired, but that's okay. Next, you'll go into uh, the instrument tab. That's where you're going to have all your different sounds for the way that you might want your chords to sound in the app. There's dozens of these different, um, dozens of different sounds that you can choose from. You can try out whichever ones you like and see what they sound like. I'm not going to go through all of them, but. app. I think there was only maybe one or two sounds, so now there's dozens, so it's pretty exciting. Next thing is the uh, set chord group button. Right now we just have the chords that are built into the app by default. You'll be able to see all of your add-on chord packages that show up right here. And you'll be able to select or deselect which, um, which chords you want the app to search through. So if you only wanted to search through the basic chords or one of your add-on packages, that's where you'll do that, through the set chord group. Next is the load chord sequence. This is where you'll, um, any chord sequences that you can that you save yourself or that we have built into the app already, um, you'll see those here. We'll go into how to make your own chord sequences in the next tutorial. But in this tutorial, we'll just uh, go over it really quickly. We have the joy to the world. Um, I'll just go through that one real quick. So this is the actual song Joy to the World. We made it for you with really pretty chords and you can just play it. So I'll show that for you real quick. play the entire song in its entirety. Uh, what else do we have for options? We'll just go back to our options. And the course reference volumes, this is where you'll see um, additional references and stuff like that. So that's basically it. We've learned how to upgrade our, our chord packages, change our instrument sound, change our instrument sound, set chord groups, and uh, load chord sequences. So that's it. Um, thanks a lot for watching this tutorial, and uh, we look forward to you visiting us for our next tutorial.